Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of this Football Manager 2020 save bringing back Bolton. And it's been another three months. It's been um it's been another three months. <laughs> That's it. We we played less games, but definitely not less frustrating games. It's still we're still there. We're still there. They've cut the wage budget again as well. We're going to talk about all this now. There's plenty to go through. Let's just get into it. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's start with the transfers first. Right, guys. So transfers, literally, we've not really done much at all, have we? Matthew Alexander has left. He was a youngster. We have signed uh, Jacob Ramsey. Uh, on loan from Aston Villa, central midfielder, he's pretty decent, and Timmy Abraham, who I'm actually quite excited to use, and he's a pretty decent player, I signed him mainly because he's extremely athletic, and you know, that appealed to me, uh, but yeah, he's been okay so far, and yeah, both of them fairly decent, just loan signings, the best I could do, with the wage budget being cut, I just, I've been searching non-stop loan signings of players that didn't require any wages, and I didn't actually realise in this game, like, that there are a ton of players in this game that you can't loan unless you have the wages. So a team like Bolton, we weren't really blessed with the opportunity, like, like with the choices, sorry. We weren't really blessed with choices. We just kind of like, this is what you can have, this is what you can't have. And these were two of the better players on the list of what we could have. Uh, so yeah, finances, we might as well look at it. Minus 7 million, and we know full well we're going to have to sell players. Now, as long as I'm still in the job, at the end of this season, I will sell Darcy. Darcy, hopefully for me, we can get at least 10 million for him. And that would basically clear the debt for now. I, I've worked it out. This is how we're going to do it. I, I need to have 41 million pounds worth of talent to sell. And I think we might just about have that in the youth that we've got. So that is literally, that's my mindset now. That's how my brain's working. We need to sell 41 million pounds worth of talent for the club to ever start getting back to normal. And with the way that the board are being, and for some strange reason, ex have seen, having such ridiculously high expectations, even though we're, we're trying to cut our losses here and we're losing money consistently, I'm kind of hoping the board sell and somebody else takes it on and just is more realistic with actually what they want from the club and not basically saying, yeah, we want you to win the league with less money than we gave you in the first season where we didn't expect you to win the league, um, then hopefully that would be nice. That would be bored. Can we do that? That would be very nice. But it's just looking as bad as it always does. The finance screen, every time I look at this, I'm just like, ah, oh, okay. We in the red. We in the debt. And that's never going to change. That's never going to change in these first, maybe, let's say, four seasons. That's just not going to change. We need to get used to that. But, yeah, they cut the wage budget again, so we're spending 52000 They cut it by, like, ten grand. So the wage budget is now 41000 And I was just like, so I have to cut ten grand's worth of the wage budget? And I can't do that right now. Feasibly this season, we can't do that. So the plan is, if we keep our job, you're going to hear that theme a lot, if we keep our job. I think we can... Uh, if we keep our job, is to sell Darcy, any other player that we can get good money for, and also to probably let anyone on a big wage go and just try and completely rebuild the squad on whatever wage budget we're given. I'm hoping we get given more breathing time, the more money we can make, because it'll kind of clear a, a certain amount of debt. It'll clear a certain amount of debt, so it might clear a little bit of freedom in terms of spending, especially loan players. I feel like there's some decent loan players out there that we just couldn't capitalize on. All right, guys, so let's just get into the meat and potatoes of the three months we've just played. We actually lost, what, one, two, three, four, five times in the league. It's been, well, we've been fairly inconsistent. November started very, very well, uh, but let's remember one of them was against Bromley and Norwich under 23s, but we also beat Bradford City, Wimbledon, and Darlington again in the FA Cup, so only one league win and a league draw. Uh, getting back into the league, let's forget about it. I, I didn't mind going out to Sunderland on penalties in the Leasing.com trophy. It's the least of my um, worries. I, I don't care about that competition. I'm probably never going to co like care about that competition, so I wasn't really worried. We beat Charlton 1-0, which I thought was great. Great result. We played Sunderland, lost 3-0. We drew with Derby 1-1 and then got battered by Gillingham 5-1. 
It's you, there's a thing. There's a thing. We turn up. We don't turn up. We turn up. We don't turn up. We turn up. We don't turn up. It's it's reoccurring. If you watch the streams, if you watch my streams, it's this is what we're feeling right now in the streams as well. Uh, but then. We're trying to figure consistency. I, I'm telling you right now as well, all the tactical mindsets we had before, I've completely changed it. The tactic now is changing game by game basis. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. We then beat Salford 1-0. We then beat Plymouth 1-0. And then we lost to Shrewsbury 3-0 in the league. So it's it's just one of those situations. Like I mean, this is ideal. Beat Walsall in the league, then lost to Coventry. Then we've just recently beaten QPR in the FA Cup, which was uh, a, an unbelievable result, an absolutely fantastic result. QPR, they're a championship club, a very good championship club. To get a 4-2 victory was very good. And then we played against Luton, and I can really go into detail of this game because I've just played it. We've just done this match. Um, we played against Luton, and we lost 2-1. Look at the match stats, guys. Look at the match stats. Um... I don't know if this is a common theme. I'm, this is not, honestly, this section is not about bashing the game. It is not about bashing the game whatsoever. Uh, I understand sometimes some players will have poor performances and different stuff happens in games, you know, so on and so forth. I understand that. We had 26 shots, 17 on target. I think it was four or five clear cut chances. I can't remember. I think they had one. Um, but again, it's, it's not just about bashing the game. It's just the problem for me at this moment in time, and I think with my prolonged period of playing the game a lot more recently, is it's becoming more and more evident, is the issue with corner goals. We lost this game 2-1 to two, not identical, but two very sloppy and just silly corner goals. If anyone out there knows how to defend a corner, I would really appreciate that knowledge. I really would, because I have no idea. Two corners conceded, and I've just got nothing really to say about it, apart from it's ruining the experience a little bit that that's... They're the goals we concede. We didn't really get undone. A couple of counter-attacks, you know, they had some okay opportunities. We absolutely... No team can have 17 shots on target and only score one goal and then lose 2-1. Um, in my opinion, as like a manager, that's that would be massively unacceptable. And us struggling to find more than one goal was a problem in this game. It really was. But conceding two corner goals... Um, it's just really frustrating and we lose the game 2-1 because of those corner goals and we're just going to keep plugging away we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and if we're having these kind of performances surely at some point we're going to have good results because we had one of those performances against QPR you know in fact we restricted QPR really to, to very very little they missed a penalty but to very very little and Ronan Darcy was on form um, in this game which really helped us uh, if Darcy's on form we tend to win um, but yeah I mean, I mean it Less on target in this, and we scored four goals. Less on target. I know it's about clearer chances and better game chances, and we had better game chances, but it's just frustrating. It was frustrating on the way that we conceded, um, but we're just going to keep on going. I will take you to the club vision. That was the fixtures, though. The next lot of fixtures will be interesting because they want playoffs, don't they? And I'm, I'm on the edge of whether we're going to get playoffs or not. I'm hoping we keep our job regardless, as long as we're there and thereabouts. But I'm on the edge. I mean, I'm hoping the FA Cup is doing us some favours. I would love it if we could beat Sheffield United, and then I think my job will probably be safe, um, because getting to the fifth round already, beating a team like QPR has been, has been tremendous. Um, I'm hoping just to get a run. We've had really only one run, and that was the start of the season, um, which was really nice. You know, this this run here, only one defeat, and it was against Sheffield Wednesday, championship side. And since that, we've just never found consistency again. Um, and, and I found that really frustrating. Um, just not being able to find any consistent run of form is... Um, it's not ideal. It's not ideal when you want to be... In my mind, we were a title challenger. Uh, but it's not ideal. So I am playing with different tactical stuff. On trying to find consistency but certain games like this happening that 2-1 that that's just really frustrating right guys so the club vision and this is where i think for me we're probably being saved by um the fa cup if i'm being 100 percent honest because they're very very pleased with that we passed the carabao but it was required that we actually did okay in the fa cup and it gives them more money it gives them more money. It, it it boosts the budget. So I genuinely think they're very pleased now 
I think if we could reach it past the fifth round, that may be my job saved. That really may be my job saved, as well as trying to um, maybe not reach playoffs. I know that's the minimum and it's required, but maybe we don't meet, reach playoffs, but maybe we're close. We're in the fight to get playoffs continuously. You know, the big issue this season is how many games we've lost. Um, but trying to find conf consistent form, especially with such a young squad, I already know that that's going to be an issue. But I'm hoping if we keep plugging away, we keep getting, we are getting some good results. We are having some good wins. Like, I just need a run. We need to hit a run of games where we have good form instead of this scenario where, you know, it's it's one game win, next game loss, one game win, next game loss. We need to get out of that routine. Um, I'm not sure. How we do that? Edmondson has been a little bit more hit and miss this year, which has um, just been really frustrating, actually. But he has been a little bit more hit and miss. He's been a little bit more... He's, if he's good, he's good. If he's not good, you just don't see him in the game. He goes missing. It's as if he's not even playing the match. And that's the problem. It's either Darcy has to be on form or Ed Edmondson has to be on form. And some games, neither player is on form, like the Luton game. And we got a great goal by Boone. But with the other two not really contributing enough going forward, then, you know, we don't capitalise. If we, we get a second goal, even potentially a third goal in that game, we'll probably run away with it. It's probably game over. Uh, but we just couldn't do that. We just couldn't do that in that match. So it was a bit frustrating. It's a bit frustrating, but we're going to go into this next run of games with a fresh mindset. And I literally do believe if we could just get sixth, and if if I remember correctly, the end of last season we hit a really good run of form. Yeah, so the end, the last three months last season, we only lost one game. If we could do that again, if we could do that again with more games this time round, though, if we could do that again, then I I'm pretty sure that we would get playoffs. I'm pretty sure we'd get playoffs and then that'd be fine. Hunky Dory, I don't really mind what happens in the playoffs. We've we've got another season. We've got another season. And then the off season will then be a tremendous task this time. You know, the first time it wasn't, you know, I, I, I went with the mindset of if we keep the exact same team, we'll be fine. But we didn't have an unbelievable season last year. We just had some good patches and the end of the season's patch really was big wasn't it it was really big for us so hopefully we can have this again this run of form now would, would that would make me really happy so maybe we can find that kind of form again right guys so let's just take a quick overview of the squad and as you can see so far this season Edmondson with 19 goals Politic with 11 now Politic's um form has been up and down I mean look at his last five games he's not been in form this is probably the key for me a top two goal scorers in the last five games haven't been in good form. Um, I mean, there you go. It's just evident right there from the get-go. Uh, Connor Stanley's not been in, in fantastic form either. So if those two aren't in good form, then we've got some problems. Darcy's had uh, had a few good games. but So so that's key. And Politic hasn't played tons recent, uh, recently. Sorry, He's had a few issues. He is another player that potentially we might have to sell now i would love to keep hold of him he's a very good player in fact he's he's so important in this side but we may have to let him go we may have to let him go but hopefully we can get some form with him towards the end of the season what's key again here is is it's how many of the players we let go i think if we let darcy go for 10 million then he actually may be the only one we let go and i'll do my damnedest to try and hold on to everybody else because we've let him go uh, i don't want to just let tons of players go i feel like the the team would suffer we've got some really good players in here and we've got some really good youngsters that are starting to really turn up a bit you know sonny gray um uh, asser and uh, senior there's some players here that are starting to become just they're getting better and better as the season goes on and i'm excited to see where that goes and i don't really want to be letting them go yet until they've probably hit a point where we can get peak money for them and if we look at player value i mean harry brockbank again another one but we would really suffer not having him but then do we make the choice that right i'm gonna play senior Senior's going to start ahead of Brockbank, and I sell him and maybe get good money for him. 
I, I'd certainly be getting more than the 1.9 million. Maybe Brockbank and Darcy together could be 20 million. Now, 20 million would buy us another two seasons, I think. I think it's roughly about 5 million a season. That would buy us another two seasons of not being in debt because of that, but you know, because of the the five mil a year that would buy us another two seasons of like at least being clear which would probably allow us to loan better because there's some good loans out there i just can't pay their wages i can't i can't even pay some of them have really small demands as well some of them aren't really ex like uh, extreme demands some of them are very small demands but i just can't i simply just can't pay them and um it's an issue. But yeah, maybe. There's there's a lot of food for thought for me to do. If you've got any ideas yourself, so leave it in the comments. There's a lot of, ooh, should I do this? Should I do that? And, and I'm not fully, fully sure. But anyway, guys, a little bit of a shorter one today. There wasn't as much to run through. And really, in my mindset now, it's, it's really, let's push through this season. Let's get this season done. And then we can really take stock and... And, and figure out what we're going to do moving forward. But anyway, guys, hopefully we'll still be in a job. I said that as many times as I could because I really want you guys to know that I might not have this job by the end of these next three months. These are pivotal months. I might not be here. I might not be the manager. Hopefully I am. I'm praying I am, but I might not be. And we might have to look at uh, different varying formations as well to uh to end the season see if we can find form but anyway guys it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you another episode i also want to say thank you very much for all the support i know you guys are absolutely killing it at the moment for me whether it be streams or youtube i'm really enjoying both uh even though this is extremely difficult um and i'm really enjoying the support you guys are showing me the love has been absolutely tremendous anyway guys i will see you in the next one for the end of the season i'm excited i hope you guys are excited if i'm still in the job to see what we could do with Bolton and if we can bring them back to top tier and to being a big club in England again. Take care, guys.